You're never gonna it. They're both the same. Oh, okay. Good? Good recording? Alright. Cool. Chest to chest, elbow to the neck, hand on the hip, control one. Position. Alright? He could almost always get the underhook when we're in this position. That's fine. Alright, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna bump onto his side. Boom, he's gonna freeze. I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna punch it under his throat. Okay, it doesn't mean I'm gonna get a guillotine, arm in, arm out, doesn't matter. But right now I'm just gonna punch his throat. Depending on what he does next is what I'm gonna do. If he just stays here, we'll do one thing. If he tries to come up, we'll do another thing. So, he's gonna try to come up. Most people, when they get the underhook and they start turning, they keep going, boom, my hands connect. Just like this. I'm gonna make a fist, fingers over that piece of meat here, and they connect right under the throat. Arms in, because I couldn't really control that because he came up with the underhook. So I lock him. Step three, he's gonna get to his knees. But before he gets to his knees, I should be on my butt. I don't wanna wait, okay? So as he's getting to his knees, I'm on my butt. And I'm on a nice angle, so that if he tried to jump over and pass, I'm a little bit far away for him to do that, okay? So again, as he goes to his knees, I'm already on my butt, my leg's already up. So if he tried to jump and pass, I'm just gonna hook him. All right, this should be game over right now. And I have my hand locked, lift this up so everyone can see. Everybody see why this is game over? My shoulder shouldn't be on the mat here, it should be over his neck, trying to cover his neck. So if he tries to pop his head out, can't. And all I'm gonna do is drive my wrist through his throat as I push his head into, a, into my leg. And I'm gonna use my leg actually to squeeze him in and just hold steady pressure. All right, this is where we're gonna start today. We're gonna branch off that a little bit in a second. So instead of this position, we call control two, we're gonna do control one. Okay, this is more like just locking someone down and holding them for pure control. If you wanna rest, this is a great position. He's not going anywhere. I could smush his face in. But if you want it to be more flowy and more transitions, we're gonna to go to here. This is more of what I like to do. I like, I like to beat people in the transitions. Elbow in the neck, hands on the hip, chest to chest, knees off the floor, all my weight on him. Just making him feel the weight. Okay, and I'm not really tense at all, I'm playing dead. Dead body, see, he can't even breathe. All right, <laughs> so we're here. He's gonna bump and he's gonna get the underhook because that's the right thing to do for him. All right, and that doesn't bother me. I can't really stop it from this position anyway. All right, so now from here, he's gonna decide what he wants to do. Either they're gonna try to get back to guard or they're gonna try to roll into you and try to, this is what he wants to do, go ahead. Yeah, he's getting that finish. Yeah, yeah, There's something like that. So I just have to be a step ahead of him. I know he wants to do that, so I'm just gonna be a step ahead. So as he goes, it's almost impossible for him to, to protect his neck right in this point right here. So boom, okay, boom, I connect right away. Whether I'm gonna finish this or not, I'm gonna connect. So let's say he stops right here and freezes. We'll do something else, all right? But at least I'm connected. Now as he goes, remember, what's the rule? I wanna beat him. I wanna get to my left hip before he gets to his knees. So one step ahead, go. Got him. All right, so now keeping your shoulder over the neck, using my core muscles to put his head down as I pull my wrist up, and I use my leg to kind of just pull him into me to make it so I can push his head down even further. And there's your tap. So there's the three, three motions. I pull my wrist up, pull this up, as I use my armpit and my chest to push his head down. So just those two alone will finish him. But when I grab him and pull his body up a little further, it just hangs him. It's like being hung right now. I use my head, I kind of just look down just to finish. Finish strong. I like to put my left arm around the throat and my right hand being the one to grab it because I'm right-handed and this is stronger. I could pull harder, okay? As long as I have the blade in his throat, left arm really doesn't do a ton. One more time, live speed. So we're setting this up from the beginning. So if you want to set this up, go from this position where you're clobbering him and holding him down to a position where he's a little bit more free. And I already know I'm going to do it right now. I already know. I'm waiting for him to go. Go. Left. That's it. Fight's over. He can do a few things, but we'll go over that next. Any questions? Let's try it. One, two, three. 